Hey guys, welcome back. Today I was doing a try on. I got a couple of new items and I thought we could try them out. Um, so let's get started. I'm just, I don't have a new foundation, which I've used this one before. This is just the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I really like this one. It doesn't last all day on my skin, but you know, for the weekend and you know, just running some errands, it's it's great. But now I have oily skin, so with dry skin, it would probably last a lot longer. We just gonna slap this on. This is a sponge I had got from Shop Miss A. It is dirty. I'm sorry, but I've been using it. I've really been liking it. It's really soft and bouncy. Um, so we're just gonna blend that out real quick. First, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in medium. I use this as a little bit of a corrector to get rid of some of those dark circles and to um, prime my eyes and to cover any blemishes that I have going on. I also cover up some of my redness. And then I take this little brush. It's an AOA studio brush. I got this from Shop Miss A as well. It was only a dollar. And I just love this to, you know, not to do my highlighting with, but just to, you know, blend out that concealer that I'm trying to hide those dark circles from. Okay, and then to highlight with, I got the, the NYX, which I've had this before, and I really love this NYX concealer. It reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay Naked Skin, which I'm out of right now. And I just got this one in C, CW04. I probably could have went a, like one more lighter shade, but... Just kind of highlight the high points in my face. And I'm just going to use that same beauty blender, just the other end, to blend out. To blend out that concealer. I also picked up the Jordana Sculpt and Go Creamy Contour Stick in Light. And I really like this one. It's You can roll it up. It's nothing you have to sharpen or anything. And I would just take this right under my cheekbones and right up here by my hairline and down my nose and then I do just a little bit right here under my lip Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is, I picked this one up, I've never had, the it's the Milani Easy Brow Tinted Fiber Gel in Soft Brown. And I'm going to try this out, I've never used this before. We're going to see how this works. Brows. And I like a more natural look on my eyebrow. And then I'm just going to set my face. I'm going to use the Essence All About Matte, which I have been using that this, and I really like it. I'm going to set my concealer with that. And I just use this little brush from EcoTools. It's just kind of a little flat, flat little brush. And I'm going to set my eyes. Anywhere that I put concealer is where I'm going to set with this. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Okay, then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This one is in natural beige. All over. Like I said, anywhere that I did not put that concealer. Or. I think I'm going to finish with my face. That's normally how I do my makeup. Um, but I'm going to start with this. I've been looking for a more of a. I don't want a complete shimmer bronzer, but more of a, like a glowy bronzer. I found this one today. It's by Milani. It's called Glow. It's a really pretty... I'm kind of scared to use it as a bronzer, though. It's kind of more orangey. I think it would look on a, a darker skin tone. I think it would be a really pretty highlight or even like a blush topper. Um, so we're going to try this out. We're just going to try this and see. This is the Bella Pierre Mineral Blush in Autumn Glow. And it's very, very messy. So I'm just again I'm just gonna take the stippling brush. I guess we're going for a bronzy, glowy look today. I'm just going to get into my Z palette. These are all and I'm gonna take this this brush right here just a fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna go into the coastal sense mauve and it's just a light it's a satin finish it's like a light purple with a little bit of sheen in it I'm just gonna throw this into my crease Let me see if I can scooch you up some. There we go. To take the color Berry Maroon. This is also by Coastal Scents. And I'm going to put this on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just going to use that same brush. And kind of blend it up into the crease. And I love these Coastal Scents colors. I've bought several of them, and I have yet to find one that I do not like. I'm going to take this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow and Ice Latte. This is what it looks like. It's just really pretty, and I'm going to use this. I'm just going to put it on my finger. I mean, it pl applies well with a brush, but I think it gives off a better sheen with just using my finger. And I'm kind of just blending it back into that purple. Then I'm going to take this little, uh, it's just an e.l.f. dollar brush. And I'm going to take this dark, a uh, darker brown. It's called Chocolatier by Coastal Scents. And I'm just going to put this on the very outer corner of my eye. Just to deepen things up just a little bit.
and then I'm going to take just a all right, and just to blend it a little bit more I'm going to take this LAB brush just blending and brush is the name of it just to kind of get a little bit of that harshness off of it because I want it to blend together and I don't want it to look like a harsh line from one color to the other okay so I, I took a little bit of that chocolate here and I'm just gonna run it right next to my lash line to take a MAC nylon which is this color right here and I'm gonna put this on my inner corner and I'm gonna drag it under this part the first Part of my lower lash line. Like this big fluffy um, Coastal Sense brush is kind of just like an angled eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to barely go into that nylon and put it on my elbow. I'm going to grab Becca's highlighter in Opal. It's just a pretty pretty kind of like a goldish undertone to it. I think it'll go really pretty with this look. And I'm going to take this Real Techniques setting brush and just brush it on the tops of my cheekbones. <clears throat> okay, for eyelashes, I've got this new Jordana Best Lash Volumizing Mascara that I'm going to try out. I'm going to curl my eyelashes first. Actually going to try the NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie, and it's a really pretty. I love. I, I'm. I like more glosses than I do like lipsticks or liquid lipsticks. Um, so we're just gonna throw this on. Okay, guys. This is the final look. Please let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, uh, just stay tuned. Thank you, guys.